For the first time in four years, the fence surrounding the federal courthouse in downtown Portland is officially down, marking a step forward after years of protests. Fox 12's Julia Lopez joins us live from downtown, and Julia, it's looking different over there. It is just days ago, fences taller than I am stood here, blocking the courthouse off from the rest of the city. And now, as of this morning, the fences, which were established during the 2020 riots as a security measure, have been taken down, but they've now been replaced by a different kind of security. For a while, you couldn't walk on the sidewalk. There wasn't space to walk. It was not graffiti on the fence, too. It looks great. Portlanders welcome the sight of a sidewalk clear of barriers. People who have visited downtown consistently since 2020 say it feels like a new chapter. Like any other big city, Portland has gone through some changes and growing pains throughout the last few years, and we're hopeful. This new chapter comes after years of tension. In 2020, crowds protesting the murder of George Floyd by a Minneapolis police officer caused an estimated $1.6 million in damages to the Mark O. Hatfield U.S. courthouse, according to a federal report. That's why the fences went up four years ago and stayed up. In 2021, the fences were briefly taken down and quickly reinstalled after more vandalism occurred in the days following. It is hopeful to see that finally we have our streets back and our sidewalks back, um, but we don't want to forget the lessons that were learned during that time either. Yeah, I was just walking by and I noticed it's been almost four years since I've seen this building without a giant steel fence in front of it. But now we've got this barrier, whatever this is. In place of the fence, crews installed these metal doors that can be lifted up and down around the courthouse. Apocalyptic's a little too strong, but um, yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't, it's not much of an improvement over a fence, I don't think. Just uh, the way it looks, it doesn't look very inviting. Nevertheless, after four long years, he says downtown Portland is coming back. The difference between 2020 and now is like night and day. Um, there's still obviously problems, but um, yeah, like it's nice to see people downtown again. It feels like things are going in a good direction right now. As you can see, the concrete barriers that held the fences in place do still need to be removed. Live from downtown Portland, Julia Lopez, Fox 12, Oregon.